area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. know what it is man salute to the subscribers that notification gang etc etc don't let none of that get too far ahead of you click and blend follow me on instagram vada underscore fly tell your mama i said hi for a lot of the exclusive things that we're going to be doing as far as merchandise and shit like that instagram follow the kid that's the quickest way to find out salute to my guy showtime sp there's a couple of things i'm gonna talk about in this joint so i don't have to make three or four separate blogs i could just do one you know, you know, let the drum roll, put it all in the pot, cook it up like gumbo. Um, you're done, though. <sighs> New Jersey twerk versus Reed Dollars. So I, I, I get a flyer that was sent to me. Uh, salute to the OC Battle League. Presents the repass August 14th. New Jersey twerk versus Reed Dollars. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay. So here's the deal, right? I, and like I said, this is cool battle. It's probably gonna be a one rounder, but the thing is, like for Reed more so. I mean, because Twerk do this all the time. You know what I'm saying? He take one rounders and all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? He'll be battling this person, that person, gates of the garden here, there. You know, that's what he do. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. But he has Loso coming up in like a week or two after that, and Loso's not gonna play with you. Like, Loso's not about to play with you and I hope you notice know you know what I'm saying like I, I hope you notice know and this is not no hate you know what I'm saying like I actually I respect twerk what he does his music and shit like that I got no issues with him you know what I'm saying but you see why the narrative is what it is because you're battling Reed a week before or a week or two or whatever the case may be it don't be a lot of time especially for someone who doesn't who has preparation issues you know what I'm saying but for Reed I'm looking at it like a couple weeks later, you got Murder Mook, dawg. This is the biggest battle of your career. Like, this is like your Super Bowl. This is the big, this the big one for you. You can't be out here taking just r battles like a, a couple weeks before, bro. You got to be super locked in and focused for Murder Mook. And when we spoke, I, you know, you wasn't, you don't even battle that often. You're doing more battles, but to take a battle like right before Mook, like, what if you got some fire in there that you could have used? It's, it, it, I don't know. And I'm like, I'm not stopping, I'm not trying to stop nobody or not hating on nobody's bag or nothing like that. It's just, that could wait. Like, y'all could have did that after the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, after you and Mook went down, like, y'all could have did that then. I just feel like it's prioritization. Like, you got to prioritize and, and put the most important battle at the forefront, like my nigga, like Murder Mook, you taking battles a couple weeks before Mook? Mook ain't taking battles a couple weeks before you? Focus, the only focus is to remain focused. You gotta stay focused, my dog. Like, and that's for both of y'all. You know, I would love to see New Jersey Twerk start doing better in battles, coming with three rounds, giving Loso a challenge, you know what I'm saying, and continuing to build his profile. But him taking a battle in a couple weeks, I, I'm not surprised at that, but it's more so to read. Like, bruh, I know you're building your name. I know you're getting hot again. I know that phone is ringing. I know it is. People want to book you here, book you there. You need to be, you got to be ready for Murder Mook. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but if it does go down, Best of luck to both of y'all, you know what I'm saying? But um, I was just putting it out there because I did see the flyer and I was kind of surprised, like, why is Reed taking battles a couple weeks before a move? Like I said, Twerk, I'm not surprised because he does, he takes one round battles all over the country. Like, he's got, he probably got a battle. He's probably battling somebody right now. Let's keep it moving. Daylight. I had a conversation with Daylight yesterday and he explained why he's not on Summer Madness or whatever the case may be. He said he's got a bigger situation coming up. And that bigger situation is more than likely going to be the Drake card. He says he's got a bigger situation altogether. So who knows what that battle will be. We did not go into specifics of what he has going on. But he did say that, uh, you know, he, want, he, was, he wanted to be on some madness, but it didn't happen. And he's moving on. He's got a bigger situation. He says music is moving. He's going to be doing music shit. And, you know what I'm saying, as far as the battle shit, like he said, him and Lux is the end game. 
Like once that battle happens, what's left in battle rap? I mean, there's a lot of other battles that's left in battle rap, but I do understand where he comes from from that standpoint. But he did say that Summer Madness was something that he was looking forward to and wanted to do, but he got the call. Boom, 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 and he got a bigger situation out of it. So that bigger situation will probably be a bigger battle on a bigger card. So, you know, we'll see exactly how that goes, but I'm looking forward to seeing him back. Like I said, we saw him versus King Los, and we spoke about the King Los battle yesterday. He said, you know, uh, his first round, his first round was one of them ones. He felt like he got it 2-1, and I felt like he got it 2-1, too. Um, so that'll be just that. Uh, last but not least... Calico, bat, bat, they flying through the cave. Um, he sees now that people are putting him as an underdog against Geechee Gotti. And I will say this, Calico's talented. Like, I fuck with Calico. Like, I see all the time people will take small clips from a blog and be like, Cal, they hate you. And the one thing I will say about Calico, Calico don't get emotional. Like, I've never seen him get emotional about blogs, about recaps. Shit like that, you know. He don't, he don't, like he he stays the course and does what he's supposed to do. When somebody say he's gonna lose, he actually likes the pressure. Like yo, I see they saying I'm gonna lose again. The poll I put up a poll, and I mean you know Geechee Gotti really is a favorite, but they had him like 75, 25 or something like that to beat Calico. Do I think it's that big of a disparity? Probably not. But with everything that Geechee Gotti does, can niggas really be surprised if they picking him going into the battle? Yes, Calico is talented. Yes, Calico can do things that a lot of other motherfuckers can't do. This is what he do. Like, he's talented. Like, we're not going to get it twisted and act like he's not able to, you know, bring that street shit, bring that gangster shit, and perform in front of big crowds. His rounds versus Rock were phenomenal. He did his motherfucking thing back then. It's been a whole month of Sunday since then. You, like, when we look at the consistency and what one is more so likely to bring that's the reason why and then Gishi got is like a crowd favorite right now so you really can't be surprised when a lot of niggas is picking one side to win I'm not shocked if he come in there and do his motherfucking thing and if he win you get, like people think that motherfuckers is blinded to the point where if a nigga clearly win a battle you'll take it away from him like fans, not me. I'm just saying, like, niggas think that that's the case. That's not the case. Calico can win this battle. If Geechee got it coming in and do anything but that top level shit, don't be surprised if Calico walks in there and gets a win. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. But what I will say is, from what I see Geechee Gotti and them talking about, and from what I see Calico talking about, they saying that it's going to be a movie. It's going to be one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 they're basically. Looking forward to having a, a big battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and you know, niggas are saying, "Oh, uh, he said, can't nobody make me mad? I'm up, I'm too up." That's what he's saying. He's too up. Can't nobody make him mad? He said, "Uh, okay." Uh, da, 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 da. so, uh, what he said? So a nigga said, "Yo, Calico, this nigga Showtime SP was hating on you so hard on the prediction vault. Said you wouldn't beat Arsa Surf when you clearly already beat them. They giving you no chance versus Easy Guy. This is about to be a classic." Hmm, I don't understand where nobody said that at. Uh, this might be one of the battles of the year. Uh, nobody said that he didn't beat Surf. He beat Surf already. This is the shit that I be talking about. Like, literally, I don't even know who this guy is. You know what I'm saying? Um, Low-key Lenny. Salute to him. And he follows me on Twitter, and I'm a, I'll probably follow him. But the thing is, you know, that's the thing. Like, uh, they go out there and they do this to create narratives, you know what I'm saying? And that happens all the time. Like, the tweet is up right now, and Calico re retweeted it, too. Like, salute to my guy, whoever this is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't change uh, the opinions of the battles or who I think is going to win or lose or whatever the case may be based off of what fans may say, you know what I'm saying? Like, I never said in no blog that Calico didn't beat Surf. That's a clear win right there. But this is the things that happen. But I want him to do his motherfucking thing. And, you know, Calico don't get mad. And I'm so glad that, you know, he's able to, you know, remain focused. And I hope that they have a fucking classic. I hope they have a war. It's really not what it, like, like it really don't be that much. But other than that, man, um, I hope everyone's doing well out there. Summer Madness is coming. Four battles 
when you look at it's actually five. It's actually five battles with the uh, two last people from um, the Ultimate Madness shit. Uh, I think it's good because you got all main events, all main events, and um, you know that that's big. That's a big thing. And it's gonna be a short day. It don't have to be long. We don't have to be watching battles all day long and all night and shit. But um, what I will say is it's it's exciting to see the big names come together. And Calico has the most summer madness is now of everyone. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause Rock ain't on this one. And it's gonna be what it's gonna be, man. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. Gang.